Four, three, two, one. Obviously, times change, but how do you guys feel about, you know, being progressive with the times, but being from a different era of authenticity? Well, what, what we thought was authentic in that era was actually, you know, in hindsight, may have also been a game. So, like, Twitter beefs or whatever, what we would have thought could have been organic, yeah, but now in hindsight, might have actually been, you know, the, you know how the music game is. But how do you guys feel about this whole meme, TikTok, and, you know, um, Trilla or whatever, comedy style, whatever, Black Bones, um, Doja Cat, I think she's a TikToker, right? Black Bones, Doja Cat. Megan Thee Stallion and whoever else does that in mind. How do you guys feel about that and adapting to it creatively? I feel like if you're, if naturally you're just a funny person that's kind of like a bit weird, people may think you're trolling, but it's just the real you. Like Copy, I think Copy is act in real life. She's really that funny and crazy, and sometimes she's actually very weird. So when when it's like online, it's like it feels like she's acting, but that's really how she is. And yeah. in this kind of market, they are soaking everything up and they just, her interactions are ridiculous now. Do you get what I'm saying? For someone with that type of talent level, not even as if she's a mad singer or dancer, but just as a personality, people are just always attracted to anything she does because of all these things. She doesn't even do skits. <laughs> but it's like, it's herself. <laughs> but it's just like funny and it's just weird as like, ah, but people still talk about it. Mm. You have guys like Black Bones who are actually planning things out, make, trying to make people laugh intentionally, having props, getting other people involved in videos. His own is very intentional. His own helps with music because after every video, you just see blah, 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 this song out now and they play the song or something crazy. Mm. So he actually is known for promoting his music. You have guys like Files who are natural like comedians. You understand what I'm saying? Who are actors. Who, so do you understand? But I feel like as far as the whole TikTok um, trend, not everything should be a challenge. Like people are just trying to force dances on every song. It's mm. pretty tempting, man, bro. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like I just miss back then. Like imagine if Pump It Up came out now. People wouldn't have started doing Pump It Up dance. Mm. Or but like back uh, then, crack, all the hard time was like the song would be Back then, the song would just be placed in it. Go serve or step up, and people just die. I, I tell, I tell you who would actually have made the most bar if he dropped songs now. Soldier Boy, like imagine, like yeah, dude, <laughs> you'll have over cash down, man. Definitely off the charts. In fact, if he was still do it, crank that challenge now. <laughs> yeah, for, exactly. That's how it's crazy. He wouldn't have so many dance type songs, and yeah, man. So. So you could say like he was actually like a pioneer. <laughs> okay. no, he was the first to do it. He was the first. You know, Soda Boy was actually the first artist to be big on YouTube ever. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Wow. Like he literally, man, ringtone that whole thing on YouTube. Like Soda Boy was he was, he was so big on the website before MySpace. It was called wow. SoundClick. Do you guys know about SoundClick? No. Uh, yeah, that was like the first ever like sound click. <laughs> oh, it did like LimeWire. No, before LimeWire. Oh right. So and like he was so big there. So now I'm MySpace because MySpace could actually upload videos because so that one was just about audio. Mm. Every beat he made every beat on his first album. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember him. I remember like them like saying those kind of things that he made. Yeah, it was so yeah. unheard of, bro. Imagine being sixteen, signing to Interscope. Yeah, so, so basically, so that much started everything. That's it. Everything started going viral. He was the first to get a lot of money off a label at that young age. He was the first to have like a dance first. Do you understand? Yeah, crazy. it's crazy. Drake. 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 <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, girl. Drake, Drake was coming on Disney Channel when Soldier Boy came out. See, one of my favorite Drake songs at the time that uh, nigga we made it. Soldier Boy made beats. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's a good song. Different on different levels, man, bro. On different levels. I mean, it doesn't he have his own like games console as well? Yeah, yeah, but I don't think I mean. No. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't he make a lot of money from it? I don't know. I, I doubt it though. Of course, now obviously, guy. For those who don't know, guys that come in there. Yeah. 
sweet in that tech space, man. Very sweet. You know, what are you doing? I'm actually like the, the tech music relationship because think about coming in, sorry, just to chip in. He invested in an online video talent agency, but I'm, I'm not sure that's it. It's probably more, but fresh right carry. Yeah, I'm just saying like the music slash tech relationship is actually brilliant because obviously all this DSP and all these things like tech based, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Distribution. Like, imagine the guys that had the foresight from like back then with like where music was going to go and how everything was going to be digital and all that, bro. Even back then when Jay, was it like what, you know, um, like the Carter, where as soon as you had like this Samsung, he just sold like a million or something first day. But sometimes, don't you think that that is because uh, when you're on the highest level of, of whatever field you're in, you sort of get um, information earlier. So other than obviously, if you're if you're on a normal level and you have uh, foresight or you're, you you make a, a an intelligent guess that oh I, I see this is where this is going or whatever, then that's cool. But don't you think a lot of times those moves are made by are easier for those guys who are in in high places because they have information. I actually don't think so. I think it's about the agents or managers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's team not really about the artists. Because no, that's no, a, the team of people is it's it's high end. Like what I'm saying now is that let's say like the guy that did that thing with Jay and Samsung or whatever, just start realizing that wait so there's this guy called Black Youngster, for example, who's not a list, right? It's not even a worldwide act, yeah? Mm-hmm. But let's say like they'll see that, oh, this song could really get viral and it could blow on this platform. I just give him crazy bread for that song. Do you feel me? So I feel like sometimes about this song, because certain songs actually work on certain platforms. No, but the, point, again. the point is before we see now, there's been a Pandora's box has been opened. So now everyone can see this multiple, but I'm saying at the time when Jay did that, that was unheard of. Of course, now, at that time, obviously, you have to have a lot of fans to even pull that kind of thing off. Yeah, that like, was... Make want to download the app on this phone and all that kind of random stuff, so, yeah. That was unheard of. Speak, speaking of Jay, do, do you, is it surprising that Tidal did not sponsor the Versus thing? I found that a bit strange. That they didn't do what? They didn't sponsor the Versus thing. Since, obviously, him and Swizz are guys, everything's black, there's black... Black businesses, black empowerment, and obviously Timberland and Swiss Beats, they come up with this whole versus thing during quarantine. It's doing well. But as it kept on getting bigger, eventually it gets sponsored by Apple. Yeah, Apple's bigger. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure like, they still made money from it because there's no reason why Jay-Z would go to Swiss's house and be like, no, 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 so no, goals, no, you know? no, 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 but I just got that talking art. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, Swiss is an art connoisseur. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, fan, fan. Yeah, but yeah. I, don't, I don't think Jay's making money off. Versus at all. No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, art. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. You well, went um, in Apple is bigger than Tidal now. Third. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sure, not saying, yeah. I'm not saying it's not, but if he made them an offer mm. and they're all in the business world, there would be ways that they too can make, they can all make cheese. Do you know what I mean? It's not like well, they'll do it with Tidal and it'll be, do you know what I mean? No one's going to make money. They can still make money yeah. off it. But I'm just saying with the whole black businesses and that whole narrative, how come title wasn't the go-to yeah. or how come maybe if they went to the title how come they weren't able to finalize xyz yeah we've seen we've seen this a lot of times where if you're wondering why g is not involved or why title is involved in this project or blah blah because title they have actually been doing so bad for the longest like right. as far as between them spotify and apple they're like the least by far they first came out with the biggest buzz having nikki and everyone was around the table posting Lady Gaga, whoever. And we're just so on the were on the um, performing after Do you get what I'm saying? Even though they have the best sound? They do have the best sound. They do have a, you know, they used to have exclusive content behind the scenes to concerts, exclusive J album, blah blah blah. But I just feel like they're trying I think to- they just got the whole formula wrong. Like if you if you're trying to pitch all oh, we sh- we're gonna give you the best hi-fi music. Yeah. Like that, that doesn't mean anything. Like they're packaging, like how you're gonna package an artist selling themselves on their streaming platform. They got it completely wrong. Apple, Spotify, Spotify is king, so I all know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So Spotify literally like 
they, they kept on evolving, like, in terms of, like, okay, you can now do it easier this way. Like, for example, if you're an artist and you're trying to do it from scratch on Apple Music, put yourself on Apple Music, seeing your stats, like, it's much more easier on Spotify. Like, it's like a like a, an ecosystem. The ecosystem just works easier for me personally. Mm. <laughs> and Tidal actually paid the most. So I actually don't even know why people are not running for Tidal, but, yeah. So, how do you feel if Jay sells it? Do you feel like the black... I think he will sell it. What? This guy should have died now. The Facebook guy, I think that they were talking about. It was a Twitter guy, one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard that. So. Yeah, if, yeah. That happens, if that happens, do you feel like as black people, we've lost a home or we've lost a, a team in this arena that's competing? Would, you, would that affect you psychologically? Would you feel like that? At all. Like you wouldn't care? I wouldn't care, man. You could sell titles to Chinese people. I don't I actually don't care. For like five billion dollars. Yeah, I, I feel like because like bro, black owned things for some weird reason, like they just don't last like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know why. Think about it. Yeah, even Sean John that was owned by Diddy, he's suing them. Like but but that's okay, music um, um clothing wise, like in terms of like you know, clothing lines, you can always build brands, you know, you sell it, you build up, you build it, you build up to a high level, you sell it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that that has always happened, but I kind of feel like with with this tech space, do you know what I mean? Like generational wealth, all that stuff. Yeah. It's like man, guy, we're actually competing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't even know, like, because I feel like even with tech and fashion, I don't even see any black company competing with these white guys, man. They've been doing it for way too long, man. Do you know what I'm saying? So basically, we're always going to be behind. Always. In any space. Think about it, that like, any space. In even any alcohol, space? Even alcohol. Like, what, like, name something that's part of this hip-hop culture that black people are literally way, like, more successful than the white people. Rock. So I don't think Srock actually sells more than Belvedere. Belvedere may be the highest selling vodka. No, Siroc is taking over. Siroc may be the most popular now, and Diddy obviously here, but he doesn't even own 100% of Siroc. Take it, Siroc, yeah, he owns 100 now, but that was part of his deal when he first took over, which which I believe was like 50% to start or whatever, and then once they become the number one, he gets the rest or whatever. Something along those lines. Take it out. They're, they're definitely the highest, which is why I think he's now on to um, pushing uh, his Delion tequila again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Siroc is definitely the highest though. How true is this? What do you mean Smirnoff? <laughs> well, maybe number one. Oh, I would say Belvedere, maybe Smirnoff, bro. What does that mean Smirnoff? These things have been here for decades. Russians, mm. Europe, everybody like before Siroc came through. They, no, these guys are rigging. What's number two? <laughs> they are rigging the system. Doesn't even allow me to Oh yeah, Smirnoff. Of course, Smirnoff could be number one. Now. <laughs> why, why do they? Why do what, when rappers or whatever did they interview? Why did they say we're the number one selling or blah blah blah? And then obviously, yeah, I'm I don't know, bro. bro. At the end of the day, man, people would just like, like music. You could drop an album and. If everybody goes crazy to buy it on Apple, it could be number one for 20 minutes and you, you are still number one. Mm, yeah. So when Diddy was saying Rock was number one, it could be number one that day or in that moment and then... <laughs> on that day in that in uh, in Dallas, Texas <laughs> for 20 minutes. <laughs> Diddy is the biggest marketing ever, man. Oh, uh, just that car came. Oh my God. <laughs> The Alternative Network.